interest you in some coffee? There it is. There it goes. That was my magic trick of the day. Did you see me hit him in the face? That was a good time. We're going to the vault. This place sucks. Where's Butch? Is he still crying about his mom? Who are all these people and why were they at my 10th birthday party? Oh my gosh, look, they crossed out hard work is happy work and it just says, work is work. Kid, it's Mr. Crotch! We're dead people and I didn't get to murder them. This is horse shit. All right, who else? Oh, look at that bear! You think we can get him? You think we can get that bear? God damn it. Dog meat, what have you done? You guys, dog meat killed all of these people already. Asshole. There you are, you Guys, that wasn't me. It's me. Oh! oh my god, you guys, guess what time it is? It's rolling pin time, bitch. We're gonna fucking whap this little oops. Stupid. Stupid idiot. Stupid idiot. Take that. Take that. Ask me to kill my dog. What a crazy person. Holy fuck. Look at somebody's head. It's Carl. Carl's head. Did that wrong. God! Street tunnels. Hello. Hello. Fresh meat. Kick ass. Take that. Hello. Doing some coffee? Mm, milk. Yay, we did it. We ate their corpses. Throw this one first. Hands as well. We have a lot of carries. goes there it is there it goes that was my magic trick of the day thanks Todd I guess small rats don't like milk oh oh my god oh I saved Mm -hmm. 
sneak attack. Ow! <laughs> she see me hit him in the face? That was a good time. What is this place? What are we doing here? Ryan Briggs. Oh look, I already did it. Done. Easy. Log entry number 173. I finally done it. Who would have thought that the simple combination of mole rat meat and wonder glue would have been the answer? Curing the mixture together in a metal box produces a sort of jerky. That is very pleasant to the palate. Chewy with a nutty taste. The usual toughness and bitter flavor of mole rat is completely undetectable. Further, I find that the meat is of restorative properties. A man who eats a meal of this concoction will find himself feeling positively buoyant and anxious to move about. I'll be able to charge even more for it than I was originally planning. The only thing left to do is set up shop in one of the towns on the surface. None too soon. These filthy raiders have been my bane, and after these long months, uh, I'm as destitute as the worst of them. Odd, that's the alarm. Begin mem wipe. User initiated memory protocol. Beginning storage clear oldest archives first. Press any button to interrupt. Attempt 172, quite close now. I'm fairly certain the key ingredient is some form of thermostarch. My next attempt will be to use Wonder Glue. The adhesive component contains a great deal of the stuff. Luckily, we have a small store of the stuff available here. I'm offering a handful of caps to the Raiders for every bottle they can bring me. Those greasy villains are handy when you've got the money. 171, I've noticed positive reactions to the base dextrin substances. I'll continue testing different forms to see where it leads me. If there was ever a time for a breakthrough, it would be right now. Masquerading as one of these foul murderers grows tiring. Once the theatrics of it wears off, one thing is true, though. We can all be rich if the experiment succeeds. Small ride is one of the easiest means to get a hold of, yet the most disgusting, if I can turn it into a viable food source. 87, the mole rats are starting to get more aggressive. I think we'll have to push back our checkpoints a bit to make up for it. I wonder if my experiments with isoprene have somehow triggered their sudden increase in aggression. I wouldn't be so worried about it if I had something to show for it. If there's got to be a better way to make this meat taste better, Chucky won't shut up about the one he kept as a pet being eaten by the others. I think I'll shoot him. That sort of thing seems to impress these raider types. I hope you did shoot him. I uh, introduced a small component of isoprene. Didn't seem to make a difference in taste or composition. I'm not hopeful, but in the next round, I'll increase the concentration only because the damn stuff is so plentiful. Archived entries. 87, the more it's starting to get more aggressive. I think we'll have to push back our check. I, I, wait, I read this one. Archived entries. Okay. Dog meat, did that bad man hurt you? Are you okay? Wait. Oh, I hear something. What is she saying? This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. The new overseer is insane. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help save us. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you're still there, you should remember it. It's really weird. Why is the game green? Is it because we nuked Megaton and it's still green over here? That might be it. Fucked Megaton up. Back into the vault, boy. We're going back. Oh, you've never been here. We're going to the vault. This place sucks. Let's go. Boy, you ready? All right. Let us in, motherfuckers. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> Help us. We're dying, assholes. Jeez, dog meat. What's her name? Learn what happened to Vault 101. Let the chaos begin, hell yeah. Chaos, chaos, chaos. Ah! 
don't know what it is about a vault door opening and closing. It's one of my favorite things about the game. I don't know why. Notice, exit prohibited by overseer. Strictly enforced. Jim! Jim, what happened here? Sorry, Jim, I needed your vault suit. I really, I really like collecting all the vault suits. So I'm really sorry. I only had, a, a, I think, an armored vault suit. I don't think I had a... Should we put our vault suit on, act like we're one of them? Stop right there. Gomez! I don't know how you got in here, but... Hi, friend. Hold on. It's me! Wait a minute. Put on the jumpsuit and it's everything! You. It's me! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. I guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Bro, I opened it once with my Pip-Boy. Don't act like it's a magical feat or something. I need to talk with Amada. I got her mess. Officer Gomez let us go, right? So I think he, I think, I think we'll just be honest with him. Amada's message. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. I mean, I just had a hunch she was in trouble. Maybe. She isn't the only one, that's for sure. Ever since last night, it's been madness down here. Nothing but trouble. It's really funny that they call the most troublesome person to come help them. What's happened down here since I left? Everything went crazy is what happened. Your dad opened that door. Bugs started attacking and people started going crazy. When the smoke cleared, there were a lot of casualties and not many answers. Didn't help that our doctor had just left either. Yeah, dad screwed up all of our lives that day, didn't he? To tell the truth, I don't really blame him for all that. He was replaced by Alan Mack, Wally's dad, and things seemed all right. <laughs> But some of your friends started talking about opening the vault for good, and he came down hard on them. Things are pretty tense now. So what now? I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer. But frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. Why would I want to leave when I could come murder everybody that tried to murder me? Why don't the rebels just leave? It's not that they want to leave. It's that they want to open the door and interact with the rest of the world. But that would risk the whole vault. Can you lead me somewhere? I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? I need to see Amada lead me to her. Okay, follow me. Where's Butch? Is he still crying about his mom? What's the big idea? To be fair, we didn't kill Butch's mom. We just watched she got murdered by rad roaches. It was a great time. Dogmeat would have loved it. Uh-oh. Wait here. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now Freddy! Now back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! Stay back! Holy Taylor, stop shooting, damn it! Don't you know enough to stay away? Who the hell are you? What happened down here? I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. Who are all these people and why were they at my 10th birthday party? Tell me about the rebels. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're gonna try something dangerous. 
You almost shot Freddy! I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. I have to go. Now. Yes, you do. Um. You guys, like, fuck off now? You don't <laughs> belong here anymore. Don't you know enough to stay away? Yes, you do. He was supposed to lead me to Amada, but he's just fucking standing there. Is that the overseer? Oh my gosh, look, they crossed out hard work is happy work and it just says work is work. <laughs> Fuck you, overseer. Oh my god, I love it. Fuck you, overseer. And your little dog, too. Hard work is happy work. No, it's work is work. I don't know where... You never should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. Are you fucking joking? Come here, you stupid idiot. Where? Where? Come here, dummy. Jail cell password. Stockholm. Wow, what a kawinky dank. This is so fun, guys. I'm very happy to be um, doing a quest that I've never done before, honestly. I've never come back here. Coffee mug, coffee mug, double coffee mug. Activate desk terminal. Unlock cell door. Confidential. Raid on rebels. In light of increased agitation from the rebel elements, I have come to the conclusion we can no longer afford to be merciful to the scum. While some may hold out hope for a peaceful resolution, it's only a matter of time before they decide to take the fight to us, or worse yet, our families. I propose a midnight raid into their compound. Live ammo, zero tolerance. Make an example of the first two who fight back, and the rest will fall in line. We may lose a kid or two, but we'll save the vault as a whole, and that's what counts. You are not to inform the overseer and some of our softer security guards about this plan as they will only object and ensure our defeat. Once the, the deal's done, they'll see it was worth the price. Though This will show those scum what happens when you step out of line in our vault. Move it. This is why I... It's good to see you again. It's been a while, kid. It's Mr. Crotch! I guess the ghost couldn't have predicted how you'd turn out, could it? Remind me to add a question about rescuing your teacher from the vault jail. If the vault ever goes back to normal, that is. By the way, while I was in there, I heard some worrying things from the guards. What did you hear from the guards? I heard one of the guards talking about some sort of plan to raid Amada and the rest of us. I didn't hear anything else, but I think he read it on the security terminal. So maybe you can find more there. But I know he didn't mean to cause all that. Don't blame him or yourself. Tell me about the rebels. Most of them are just kids who are caught up in the idea of seeing the world. But I know we've got to actually open the vault if we want to survive. Otherwise, we're just going to dwindle away down here until it's all too late. Is that hair on his... <clears throat> Is that hair on his chin? On his chinny chin chin? Watch yourself down here. Oh, it was glitched. Okay, it fixed itself. His mustache hair was uh, looking kind of weird. Oh, that's all we had to do was rescue our old teacher? Cool. Oh, hello. This guy eating fucking chicken. Or iguana. What the fuck are you eating? Why? I don't know that I should be talking with you. What happened down here? With all of the bugs and fires, there was an awful lot of strain on the systems down on the reactor level. Our water chip's pretty delicate right now, but I'm working on setting her right again. Fucking water chips. Oh, God. Come on, pay more attention to what you're doing. Are these guys serious? All right, where the fuck is Amada? 
We're dead people, and I didn't get to murder them. This is horse shit. Yes? Can't you just leave us alone? Pepper Gomez. The bugs were horrible, but my family was pretty lucky. <clears throat> but then my Freddy went and got caught up with those idiot rebels. Those kids are risking our entire vault just because they're bored. It's horrible. Yes. All right, Pepper. Do. Hey. Oh boy, are you in trouble? You have a bat too. What happened down here? You should have seen my pop. He personally <laughs> saved old Stanley. But guess you wouldn't know what it's like to have a hero for a dad, would you? What do you expect from idiots like them? I'm just glad I was done with Butch's stupid gang before they got involved in all this. Yes, you do. Careful with that. Help! Holy moly, it's a <laughs> hey! Where? Blood! <coughs> Apartments. Oh, are you scared of me, sir? Why is there a big red ball in here? What are you guys doing in this room? Hey. I guess you can see how bad things are down here. Sorry, where were we going? Yeah, you fucking just stood there. Could you escort me to Amada? As chance would have it, she was one of the first people to talk about life outside the vault after Thanks you Thanks for the follow. No surprise. Welcome in. She always did like you. I hope you can talk some sense into her. Or maybe the two of you can come up with some other plan. What if you turn me into a fat, bald guy forever? It. Would you be happy or sad? I mean, the saying cut is fat and happy, right? Hey, what do you mean cut it out? Why is he so weird? Why do they walk so slow? Don't find the dead bodies I put over there. Amada's up there, in the clinic with Thank the rest you. of them. Thank you. Amada's up there, in the clinic with the rest of them. I'd take you closer, but they don't get along with security. Good luck. Goodbye. Okay,